All right. Now we're doing free code camp, JavaScript algorithms and data structures, basic JavaScript, adding a default option in switch statements. So in a switch statement, we may not be able to specify all possible values as case statements. Instead, we can add the default case, pardon me, the default statement, which will be executed if nothing, pardon me, if no matching case statements are found. Think of it like the final else statement in an if else chain. All right. So a default statement should be the last case. So we've got the switch statements right here, switch one, uh, excuse me, switch num, then case value one, statement one break, and then all the way down, and then we'll have the last one be this default. It'll have a default statement right here, and then a break like that. So now what we're gonna do is write a switch statement to set answer for the following conditions. We'll have A, B, and C be apple, bird, and cat, and then we'll also have a default down here that's gonna say stuff, all right? So let's come over here, and we'll start off by saying case. And then since it's, since it's an A and not a one, we're gonna make this a string and say A, and then we'll have the colon right after that, all right? And then down here, we're gonna say uh, answer again, just like the last one, equals, uh, what was it, apple, like that. And then we'll come down here, we'll, excuse me, let's cap this off the, with a semicolon, come down here and say break, like that. So let's take this, whoops, 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 I forgot the switch part. Let's actually take all this, indent it one time, bring this down one, if I can, bring this down one, and we'll say switch right here. Switch, and then we'll say inside here, val, and then we'll have the curly braces like this. And then I'll take this curly brace and put it right here. All right, so now we're back to normal. Uh, let's take this right here, copy it, drop it off one, two, yeah, just two times because we're doing, uh, app, excuse me, bird and cat. So let's call this one B, call this one C, call this one bird, and call this one cat. So now we're going to do the default statement. And it's basically the same thing. We're just going to say down here, default, all right? Let's bring this over one so it's in line with a case. And then let's say uh, right here, stuff. We'll say answer equals stuff like that. And that should take care of business. Let's uh, add this last break like that. And then we'll wrap this uh, switch of stuff like this with parentheses like that. And then we'll say uh, console.log. All right, so we've got stuff one for one because there is no one. Now let's put an A, a string A in there. Apple, B, bird, C, cat, and again with D, it'll do stuff. If it's nothing in there, it'll also do stuff. So any anything that's not these, it's going to go for this one right here. So let's run it. Looks good and submit it. All right, now we're on to multiple identical options in switch statements and we'll see you next time.